Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel for my Dollar Tree Haul Summertime Edition from my hood to yours. I'm going to just jump right into it because the last time I went a little overboard or a lot overboard, but I had a lot of stuff to um, share with you. So again, I'm going to share the um, my purchase and I'm going to give like a semi-review of the things that are new. So I'm going to start with the um, food that I found today. So they had these uh, coconut rolls, but they have had this before. Um, but I haven't seen them in a while, so I bought a couple of those. Uh, what they did have that was new um, was this McCormick bourbon chicken um, sauce or marinade. And um, pleasantly, it doesn't have um, any chicken seasoning in it. Or so the ingredients that I read, unless I overlook something, uh, didn't state that it had chicken ingredients. So I bought this to um, put on like um, tofu or some soy meat product because as I mentioned in my previous video I'm working on a vegan lifestyle slash healthier lifestyle so I bought two of those and they also had that same pack in um, beef but that had beef extract in it so I didn't try that one I wasn't going to buy it um, then they had uh, grill meats um, Southwest Chipotle um, I bought this to once again season some soy product or non-vegan meat product and or um, I have some portobello mushrooms those are the big round ones that kind of um, resemble burgers um, and they don't they um, don't taste bad grilled so I figured I may marinate them in this and try it then they had oh you see it's already open huh <laughs> I'm doing a review for you. I'm looking out. We're here. All right. Just calm down. Calm down. I got this. So they had these chips. They're new. And the packaging was very bright and inviting. So I bought this. They had, um, uh, this is Korean barbecue. Um, and then they also had buffalo queso. And then they had a third one. And if I'm not mistaken, it was like cheddar bacon. But I don't do pork, so I didn't want to try it, or I wasn't going to try it. And so the review, on a scale of 1 to 10, I would give this one like a 6. I would give this one a 4 or 5. Um, they're both an acquired taste. This one tastes very uh, cheesy. It's not bad, but I'm not excited about it. I wouldn't purchase it again. And then this Korean barbecue, the taste is very pungent. It's like a those people that like Asian food it tastes like some sort of Asian soup I wish I could tell you which name if I asked my sister I could tell you but anyway it tastes like an Asian soup on a tortilla chips and the chips are crunchy they're small so you see they're small almost the size of like Doritos um, but again on a scale of 1 to 10 I would give this one a 4 to 5 and I would give this one like a 5 to 6 but um, if you ask me, although you didn't, um, you're probably better off with the bacon cheddar because, the, the, like I said, the tastes are um, pungent. They're very strong. And so that one will probably taste more like bacon and be more enjoyable. So that's that. And, oh, y'all ready for this? I'm so excited. <laughs> I've never seen this. It, it's all a tree. You ready? Bang. You see that? You see what that says? <laughs> so natural, jasmine rice. Could you imagine? Jasmine rice is one of the more expensive rices, and they have it in Dollar Tree. And the the size is great. You see that size of my head, and the bag is at the same size. This is one pound bag, so sixteen ounces for people that need that conversion. And it only ingredient jasmine rice. It don't have any of that other stuff on it or whatever, all that fluff. And it's made in. It says a product of Vietnam. But it says it was distributed in Florida. So it didn't come from China. So I will assume that it's real rice and not fake rice. But jasmine rice. I thought this was great. I bought two. I started to go back and buy more. Especially when I saw the lady walk by with three. But I didn't want to be gluttonous. And then I have a bunch of rice. And then of course, you know, uh, rice is high in carbs. And you got to watch your figure, your waist. And so I opted just to stick with the two. So if I liked it if I tried it when I tried and I liked it at least I had another one until next time if they have them again so that does it for oh wait <laughs> the 
they have this I believe I've seen it before but I never purchased it so these are Swedish fish uh, and it's called two well two Swedish fish tails and it's two flavors in one these are good these are good and um they almost didn't last and I don't know if they're gonna make it through the night it's like 10 30 now where I'm at and uh, yeah and so the flavors are watermelon pineapple blue raspberry strawberry and raspberry mango so in order of the so so you can see it so there they go so in order of the flavors that I like uh, I will go with the watermelon pineapple first and then the blue raspberry strawberries those hit the spot the raspberry mango not so much you can taste the mango but either way this is a good candy to get and if the movies was open I would definitely have a pack of these in my purse so that does it for the food and so household stuff so um, I know someone is traveling soon so I bought the name tag uh, baggage name tag they actually have a, a different type different kinds like cactus and all kinds of stuff and great purchase because in a regular store this is ranges anywhere from three to five dollars so I bought that and even if no one's traveling now because of the corona this is good to have for when you need it um, then the last time I was in Dollar Tree I or the last video as well I had um, the sign family this, this galvanized tin sign and so this one says happy so I bought one of those and then I bought this one another one that says home and so I don't know things that's in Dollar Tree I always feel like for a dollar a lot of times at least my experience again in my hood you're not gonna see them again or you're not gonna see them as often and once they leave the shelf that's it and if you see them again you're in another state somewhere if even that or they discontinued it totally so I only bought one and I really wanted to buy more but it's great to like decorate if you want to make a sign for your front door your back door your garden whatever it is or you just want to change the decor in your home so I bought those and then for households as well I bought this they don't have I mean this is the first time I've actually seen extra bleach they may have had it but I haven't seen it and so this is 34 fluid ounces and it's actually 40% bonus so I guess it's bigger than what they had before or oh, how however but um, I bought that to try you know all bleach don't um, react to your clothing the same but I said I'll try it uh, it was decent size although they have the other ones the awesome that's a bigger size but it may not work as well as that so um, so I bought that and then in the baby section they had this I'm not sure if I've seen this before but anyway it's baby air freshener and it actually smells like baby and I sprayed it and it actually smells good so um, that's a good buy and then oh they had lady speed stick aluminum free deodorant and this is 1.4 ounces so i don't use deodorant with aluminum you know they say it's linked to um is linked to um cancer and so i see when i see these in dollar tree i buy them because of course they cost more in target and walmart or whatever and um the ones that are aluminum free actually cost more money overall no matter what store you go to so it's worth um, trying because they all don't work the same and some of them don't work especially since they don't have the aluminum in it so it's a it's a trying transition so it's, it's worth trying from Dollar Tree <clears throat> until you find the one that works for you and then I saw this in the baby section as well this is baby oil gel and I tried it and it actually it doesn't leave your skin shiny it's like a dull uh, coating um, it smells good the smell lasted for as long as I was paying attention uh, but a good 30 minutes um, that I was paying attention the smell lasted however it has like a film it's not sticky but it's like filmy a filmy film if that makes sense um, that it leaves so I wouldn't buy this again because I don't like it so and I wouldn't wear it outside especially during the summer to, you sweat and then you start feeling sticky and you mess around and you rub your skin or you get stuck to like the leather in your car or you rub it and it starts peeling you walking around outside looking like you dirty so that's that then they had some oil free acne wash 
I've had this I think I've seen it before I never used it but I bought it because of acne wash you know clean your face and I try to use a different soap than I use on my body and um, it said it's for a uh, cleaner clear complexion so I bought it when I saw um, complexion and it says it also helps with acne problems of course hello acne wash nonetheless I bought one of those and then they had these makeup wipes sassy and chic and chic and so this has 24 wipes I bought it um, to remove makeup as it says and it said it's good for even waterproof mascara because you know that's the hardest thing to get off sometimes some of the um, makeup removers don't fully remove your makeup so you wake up in the morning or later in the day and you see that around your eyes you walk around looking like a raccoon and I will then have to take some like baby baby um, like some Vaseline or Ainsley ointment and then wipe it off or whatever so hopefully those work and then I saw this which is also makeup remover and it's like 30 wipes in a pack so this one is 25 and you see the size and I didn't open it yet but I will assume because of the size that this one is bigger however I don't know what the cloth is like so you know you sometimes get cloth and at least like the lint on you or whatever so I'm hoping that neither of the two do that do that and um, this one actually had other other varieties like they had a charcoal and like four other ones but I didn't buy it I bought this one the cucumber um, so hopefully it all goes well and then and if you want to know how well it does just leave a comment below and when I do open it I will um, let you know how it, how it was and then in households as well they had these downing unstoppables so it says that it's 12 weeks of freshness and it's 1.3 uh, three, 1.37 ounces, and these are like little pellets. Could you see the pictures? So I guess they're like little pellets. And um, when I saw this, I didn't know what it was, and the cashiers were raving about it. I was like, yes, it, I was like, does it work? They was like, yes, it works well. And then one of them was like, it works so well that you can even put it in your drawer as air freshener. You know, like some people do like the dry sheets. And so even with it being in the bag. I thought I spilled something, but I was like, what did I buy? I didn't buy any fabric softener or anything of that nature in Dollar Tree. So either way, the smell is very strong and pungent. And it smells like something actually spilled, like it's actually open. It's not. So I'm hoping, I'm believing that it will have that same effect in a clothes. Because, you know, Downy is one of them old school, reliable brands. You, somebody walks by, you already know what they put in their clothes. So I bought three of those. And then... I saw these sharpeners. It's like four in a pack with the bottom to catch the residue. I thought that was worth having, um, especially for like, your makeup pencils. So you, the stuff is not all over the floor because when it gets on the floor, it leaves like the, 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 the crayon itself smeared on your floor. Hard to get out and it's annoying. So this was worth buying. <clears throat> then, yeah, I know how I feel about my containers. So I saw these colors. When you saw this, did it make you smile? Because when I saw it, it made me smile. I'm smiling now it's like boosts my energy and i love the color and it's like whatever is in here is gonna make me want to eat it you know just because of the color and as you know i have like the green the red whatever and as i mentioned in the previous video these actually came three initially so if you see it with three snatch them up because now is only two and i don't know if it's because of the colors but i'm assuming that um they wanted to get more for their money or whatever and so they just now they decided to go with two containers as opposed to three so again you see three get it so that's that and then the great find of the day was you see that allen keys i've never seen these before in dollar tree so it's a nine pack and if you see it swaying forward these are actually heavy and it comes in its own personal case can you see that because you know when you get furniture and it has an allen key to put the furniture together I don't like those, that kind of furniture, but it happens. But the alley key, you often lose one. So in the case, it's so like, how you, how would you misplace this? It's, high, it's more likely. So nine pieces, and they're heavy. They're not hollow and cheap. This is like good quality. So I thought that was great for a dollar. And last but not least, you know what that is? Face mask. So um, those of you who know, Dollar Tree used to have the box, and I think it came with five or ten. And then when Coroni came, they were gone. And so now they came back with these. This actually was in the store today. And so it's like two in a pack. And they're very lightweight. You see that? Very lightweight. And um, they're not the greatest. I don't need to open up to see. You could tell on the pictures when you go on to the Dollar Tree website. And you could tell in the packaging. So you can see the threading, you know. And can you see? 
Oh, you can't see through it. But anyway, I can see through it, but you can't see it on the camera. But um, they are right, and for the summertime, it's worth it's worth it. I mean, it's better to have than not have, and but hopefully it keeps the germs out. You know, and does its job. So, like I said, two in a pack is all right. And that's all, guys. And so, till next time. Thank you for um, joining me for my haul. And until next time, get up in Dollar Tree, get what you can. When you see it, don't, don't walk past it and say, I'm going to come back. Because when you try to come back, it won't be there. Um, but don't spend all your money like I did or do. Have some self-control, some self-restraint. So until next time, if you like the video, click like share subscribe and um next week i'll be at it again see you then